Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. This time I'm looking at a couple of Saturn. Um, I think these are memory expansions, I'm not sure. They may have some backup capability as well, I'm not sure. I don't think they do because you've got backup capability on the Saturn itself, don't you? But uh, yeah, well, uh, they're a bit faded. But going to retro bright these. I think they're both Japanese uh, by the looks of things. So. Um, we'll get the screws out and uh, have a look. Um, I'd like to inspect the thing first just to see what state the board's in, um, clean up the contacts, because that might be all that's required here. So there you go, you can see them in there now. In terms of um, getting this um, apart, the screws, it's, you just need one of these screwdrivers to get inside a SNES or a mega, normal Mega Drive cart. It's, uh, sorry, I got the wrong screw there. Um, and then it, you've got to, it, it lifts up. You said if you, you think it would just open like that, it doesn't. You've got to slide, slide the top up a little bit like that you know so you slide slide this piece like that just a little bit and then it unhooks um, and there's a piece of shield and over the top of the board remove that and obviously the board uh, I think it was this way up but you can see straight away there we've got um, an Atmel um, EEPROM 29C040 um, from memory I think that's 512k it's um, sort of part of the, well it's like the same chip type as like a 270 040 effectively but it's in a different package um, and it's probably electronically erasable um, <clears throat> you can see we've got um, a couple of 7.4 chips on here so maybe one of those is faulty on this, we've got a 7.4 uh, HC244A so um, that's just a, a buffer I think um, I always get the 244 and 245 around the wrong way um, and a 74HC00 so I think that's a, is that a, 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 a not gate? I'm not sure uh, I can't, can never remember, might be an AND um, and a little SMD cap so yeah there's not much on these at all uh, I'll clean up the connections um, I might just give these a try and just see um, see what they do so I quickly cleaned up the connections there using some IPA and then an eraser and then IPA again um, and I'll show you after just quickly connecting it up there we can see we can actually copy items from the cartridge um, you can see you know previous contents there uh, obviously it's been used in a Japanese system this so that's why some of the comments there in Japanese um, but yeah all signs are that the cart probably works alright there's nothing probably wrong with it um, I think we'll clear it and we'll copy some stuff from the system so we'll clear the cartridge, let's do that uh, OK to clear, yes see what happens there I mean the blocks were 3502 so let's just see if this um, if it's reset it to completely blank so there you go, you can see it knows it's clear if we now do copy item to cartridge uh, and let's Let's try this Resident Evil. Yep. Copy that one. Yeah. I will just go freeze up through these. I'll just copy all my save games to the cartridge there. Okay, so that's all nine of my saves now on the cartridge. If we press, uh, hang on, no. Let's go back one with the B button. Uh, you can see it's now showing these items there because I can actually copy them and stuff. So if you choose copy, hopefully we should see all nine saves there. Yeah, that's working fine. Uh, 7747 seven blocks free. So it looks like it's just dirty. A bit disappointing, really. Um, there's not much on these. You know, it, it, you could replace that the 274 logic chips on there. You could also replace the 29F040 if it wasn't saving properly. but. Uh, yeah, so we'll have a look at the next one now, I'll just show you the cleaning process, I know I've covered it before, but you may have landed on this uh, channel here just through this video, so if you've never seen it before, it's worth it just for the few seconds it's going to show, you know, it's going to take. So for the second car, I'm going to do this two different ways. Um, I'm going to do my normal technique of using uh, ice prop first, I'll show you, um, just to clean, clean off the surface contaminants there. But you don't get everything off, You'll, you know, they still look, um, and you can see, they still look a little bit patch there's still the odd mark on them um, and then normally I'll use the eraser and then finally give it another coat of ice prop but this time I'm gonna uh, well I'll do that on this side and then on the other side I'm gonna try a little bit of plastex um, which is not you know it's not the sort of thing you would normally use to clean one of these but the array problem with the razors as you can see they disintegrate over time so um, you know and it is 
you still put in a bit of, you know, it's a bit abrasive in general, rubbing this like this, you know, if you've got a slightly damaged connection there, you could easily pull one of these off, I'm sure. Um, but this will bring them up super, super, super clean. That's exactly what I did on the other car, and the connections look like new. Um, but you can see you get rubber everywhere, and then it's a case you've got to go over a second time, because you get like a, a coating from the rubber um, that you need to then clear off with the isoprop. Um, but on the other side, like I say, I'm going to I'm going to try Plastex just to see because it's very gentle. It's like Novus, you know. It's that sort of kind of polish, um, and that's what what is required. The, you know, all the rubber's doing is uh, is doing the similar sort of thing. Really, it's using a slight bit of friction there to try and um, rub off um, those imperfections and got a nice bit of isoprop on there and then the dry end. So yeah, hopefully you can see that side super clean. So I think on this side, uh, yeah, it's not too bad that side actually, but I'll get a cotton bud, we'll get a tiny bit of, uh, and it, it really is just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit here on the end of a cotton bud. Um, I'll try and show you. Yeah, I've just, all I've done is coat it um, in some of that, and we'll just gently go over these with that. Because one of the things with IPA, it brings off oils and things like that, it's, you know, sticky contaminants, but it doesn't do anything in regards to any surface oxidisation or rust or, you know, uh, corrosion, anything like that. Whereas this probably will. You can see it, it's going uh, a grey sort of colour here. You don't need to press, and this, like I say, is so um, light in terms of abrasiveness. You have very little chance of damage in this. Um, it's looking clean already, it's spotless. So we'll just give that a wipe with some IPA now. Um, this rag's got some IPA on it. Um, we'll just see see how that looks, but yeah, that's looking like new actually. Yeah, so I think you could do it either way. You could do it either way. You've not got an eraser, you could just use a tiny bit of plastics and then just wipe it down with some isoprop. Uh, and hopefully, you can see there, they're like new. There's not a mark on them. So I'll reassemble this um, cart now and we'll give this a try. Just something quick I thought I'd show you that I've perhaps not shown before. When you're putting screws into uh, things like this, plastic cases and things, you don't want to damage the threads. If you turn it the wrong way, you know, so I'm turning this anti-clockwise, just listen, you hit it click then. When you get to the point where it's ready to go in, it will click as, you just, as it snaps over the edge there. And then you can start turning the right way and you've got no chance of, uh, or a lot less chance of damaging the thread. Um, because it was, you know, it was, getting, it was proving quite difficult to get that to go in there. So that's all reassembled now, we'll give that a try. So let's go into system settings, have a look at the memory manager. And lo and behold it's reading that one as well. Copy item to system. And there we go, we've got some games uh, saves on there already. So yeah, it would look like there's nothing wrong with either of these. Quite a lot of saves on that one actually. So we'll format it. Uh, I'll do the same thing, I'll copy all my save games onto there, just see if it saves all nine. Yeah. They're all on there. Uh, and I'll switch this off and on. We'll go back in again and we'll just check the contents of it just to be 100% sure that it saved it. But I'm pretty sure it has. I'm pretty sure that's working. Yeah, there we go. There's the game as I saved to it before. Well, I was hoping to get more of a uh, repair out of those, but uh, yeah, sadly they just needed cleaning. Um, they need labelling up, obviously. I'll get some, perhaps do some repro labels or something for these at some point. Um, but and I'll probably hate to O2 uh, them as well, just to get rid of the yellow, and especially on that one. This one's not too bad. You can see it's more yellowed on the back. You can see the colour difference there, but from the front, yeah, it's not that bad. Um, but I'll probably do them at some point um, and show you an update, perhaps in another video. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.